Dear guests from abroad, from Canada, from England, Scotland and Wales, ladies and gentlemen in your ranks and function, as the president of the Municipal Council of Moda, on behalf of our mayor and the local authorities, I would like to thank you heartily for coming to this memorial event. Some of you coming quite a long way from here. And now, the roll call of the members of the crew. Pilot Officer Augustin Brannigan. Here. Flight Sergeant Ronald Rogers. Here. Flight Sergeant James Seaford Silver. Here. Flight Sergeant Peter Roland Humphries. Here. Sergeant Alexander George Tabaton. Here. Sergeant Arthur William Bear. Here. Sergeant William Francis Kettley. Here. Sergeant William Palmer. Here. He died. Are still very much alive in our hearts and in our thoughts. And for all those years since they departed this life, we've been keeping their memory alive. Let me recall the particular circumstances of their death, which are engraved in our memory. It happened on August. 28, 1943, on its way back from an air raid over Germany, the Halifax bomber was flying over a countryside area when it was attacked and shot down by a German night fighter. Halifax JD 371 crashed in a field just outside the village of Poda. But right before the crash, as they realized that they were about to crash in the village, they managed to divert the aircraft away from the village and the villagers, needless to say at the expense of their own lives. In no time, and in an act of extreme bravery, they had decided to sacrifice their own lives in order to save the villagers' lives. Three members of the crew managed to drop from the aircraft using a pressure and survive. They made it back to Great Britain thanks to members of Resistance Line. Four British and one Canadian airmen died. <coughs> We are today honoring the special circumstances of their death. Our local history group has set up a website, remember jd371.be, and gathered relevant information. We have appealed for friends and relatives of the crew to come forward. All this has made it possible for us to organize this memorial event today and mark the 70th anniversary of this act of bravery. Thank you so much for attending our Remembrance Commemoration and for promoting with us the duty to remember. Doing so is also an occasion to question ourselves about our practices as a society and our behavior as individuals. Mesdames, Messieurs, en vos rangs et fonctions, comme nos autres anglophones, j'ai procédé à l'appel des membres de l'équipage avant de rappeler les circonstances du drame. Merci de votre présence à cette cérémonie commémorative. Je tiens à remercier particulièrement Marc, en qui a germé l'idée, André, Christophe et Eric, formant avec lui l'équipe qui a permis la réalisation de ce devoir de mémoire.